You can find all the assets and code used in this project linked in the description. To get started, create a new scene and add a character body to D node. As a child of this node, add a sprite node and drag in the sprite that you want to use. Next, we want to select our character body 2D, rename it to be player. You can press F2 to quickly rename things. And then we're going to use Control S to save our scene. I'm just going to call it player. Next, add a script to the node by clicking this button right here. So just click create. And then we're going to delete all of this because we don't need it. Before we begin coding, we're going to create a custom input. To do this, head to project, project settings, and head on over to input map. We're going to add a new action called left click. We can assign this action an input by clicking this plus button, going down to the mouse button, and then select left mouse button. Click OK. We now close this window and go back to our script. At the top of our script here, we're going to define three new variables. The first variable is going to be speed, and it's going to be equal to 300. The next two variables are going to be click position and target position, and they're going to be assigned to a vector to. Under this, create a new physics process function. Inside of our physics process function, we're going to add an if statement, which checks if the left click input that we just created is being pressed. If it is, then we want to set the click position variable to be equal to the global position of the mouse. Now that we've got a position, we need to make the player move. To do this, we're going to create another if statement, which checks if the current position is more than 3 pixels away from the click position. If it is, then we're going to set the target position using this line of code, and set the velocity to be equal to the target position times speed. Finally, to make a move, we're going to use Godot's built-in move and slide method. If we now run our scene by either clicking F6 or this button up here, when we click, we can see that our player moves to where the click happens. However, the problem with this is that if the player doesn't start at 0, 0, the player will move to 0, 0 when we first load up our game. So to fix this, go back into your script, create a new ready function here, and set the click position to be equal to player's current position. So if we run our scene now, our player doesn't move straight towards 0, 0. That's it, consider checking out this other tutorial on screen.